Hi everybody, I'm on my last tail end of uh, piecing together some kind of app. Um, the genesis of this is try to look at doing GUIs in C++ on uh, just useless, there's very few decent universal um, apps or IDEs that will design, design uh, the source code with a graphical user interface, be it uh, on Windows, Linux, and Mac. I mean, we all know about Visual Studio on on Windows, but to be honest, I, I dropped Windows a year or two ago. I got really tired of the um, of the uh, just the direction that Windows 10 was going in, so I ported to um, Mac OS. Here we are, and you know, I'm trying to find a proper way with a proper professional tool that won't crash on me like in Python. Uh, I don't really want to stay in Java, just due to the fact of all the dependencies with the, with the Java virtual machine. So uh, it makes sense for me to move ahead and just continue doing Swift as I did a while back. And here we are um, with the C++ backend because both um, C++, Swift, and Objective-C is supported in this um, IDE on it from Apple called Xcode. And uh, I just wanted to show you some of the basic stuff that you can do as if you're on Visual Studio, which I kind of like. I think that's probably a really good product coming out of Microsoft, but uh, everything else is pretty well blah. And uh, here we are on Mac uh, OS. So the first one I want to show you is the general uh, Coco app. So when you create an app, you, you have many options. You can create an iOS or TV OS. Um, I think there's a watch OS. And then there's a Mac OS. So this is the Mac OS, and we're using Coco uh, to, to interface with, with the library. The language is Swift. So let me just show you kind of like the basics here. So in here uh, with the visual, we have the standard storyboard. Now, here's, here's my storyboard. I just put a bunch of different objects or components or controllers in here. So we got a label, uh, uh, so, you know, a radio button, pull down menu, or they call that, radio, whatever. I check in, blah, 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 right? So we have all these built out, and I can just pull them out, you know, just like that, right? Simple stuff. I can save it, and uh, this this is the latest version of Mac OS, uh, or sorry, Xcode, so it's 9, and uh, you have all the controllers, all the different details here on the right. Anyways, I'm not going to get into it. But we do have a tutorial I'll put, I'll put in the blog if you're interested. Not many people are. Um, but, uh, you know, you, you, you can develop all kinds of templates and, you know, if you want to snazzy up the thing. But this is, this is the Mac OS version. So if I want to run it, uh, just go. Oh, and then there's the traditional model viewer. Uh, there's the code for the. Controller. Here's the main storyboard I just showed you. Uh, not sure what the entitlements are. Probably just the addendum stuff. Um, here's some test uh, unit testing. Uh, the controller, the, uh, the app delegate. I'm not. I can't remember what these are for. But anyways, it doesn't really matter. But I just want to show you this controller. So now I can just launch this and uh, build succeeded. And here we are. So here's our app. Blah blah blah. You know, nothing to brag home about, but uh, does the job, right? So I can then, uh, right off the bat, run this right off the, the, um, the, uh, the desktop here as an independent application. So there you go, blah, 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 fine, goody, goody. Now, the neat thing about this is if you're okay with sticking with Apple, product uh, you can move also let me just show you here so let me just close up this project um, 
So let me just show you a sampling of how to create a new project. So if I create a new project, uh, as I said here under Mac OS, here's my Cocoa app. Create a simple command line tool, da da da. Okay, and, 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 and Swift has a compiler, it's not an interpreted language, which is good. And you can interface it with C fairly easily. Uh, yeah, you are somewhat limited, obviously, to deploy on Mac and iOS uh, devices, which is okay. I don't mind Mac and uh, iOS. Um, and then obviously they're rolling out. They already have the, the TV and, and as I said, the watch. So here in the iOS, which is iPhone and iPad, you have all the um, different options uh, of what kind of um, application it is. So in my case, I have created uh, another project here. I'm just, like I said, fooling around with it. So it's the same idea as before. So here's uh, our different mm -hmm. simulators. We can do the new iPhone Plus, the X, and all the other other devices. Um, so that's that's pretty good. Same structure as before. It's a little different because it's a different device. Um, so we work within the uh, main storyboard as before. So everything else pretty well the same. I just got to figure out what these all mean. But I'm going to be honest. Uh, once you crack the code on on these little controller things, uh, you you can do some pretty cool stuff. So here's all the different controllers. Um, and uh, let me just uh, run this. Like I said, nothing exciting. It will um, bring up the simulator, which is a, a phone simulation. So as if it's starting up, you can um, use, I don't know why you have to boot it up, but um, in the meantime, this will load up the phone. So let me just pause this. Oh, here we are. So here's the application. I think it's automatically launches now. Yeah, so there you go. You know, like I said, you know, as if you're on. So it's pretty good, I guess. Um, that's it. That's all I want to show you and just show you the iOS, the Xcode has gotten much better, much easier to work with, much more intuitive. And uh, I'm probably going to move forward. I'm hoping to move forward with this uh, in terms of designing as I get into the last stages of my app. All right, later. Talk to you later.